The fall fair was a staple in the early school days. Every year, students and teachers from one-room schools were brought together from various counties. Under their school banners, children would compete for various prizes and enjoy the fall festivities. Fall fairs included livestock shows, hobby contests like singing, fastest sheep shearer, baking, and competitive eating. Prizes were of course handed out. Sometimes they were small gifts like animal feed or household goods or a certificate, trophy, and prize money. Parades were a large event at fall fairs. Each schoolhouse would march with their school holding handmade flags that represented their school section. School children walked alongside each other for miles displaying their school spirit. Here is an example of a school flag. This flag was made by the school children of SS number no. 9, Phillipsville School. On the back, the flag reads, Knowledge is Power. Fall fairs and other community events developed in Canada as farming communities were multiplying and expanding during the 18th and 19th centuries. They allowed communities to come together and connect. They were also a space that allowed people to share their expertise and experiences with one another. School children became more involved as boys and girls clubs were formed. The first boys and girls clubs in Ontario were formed in 1915. The purpose of these groups was to enrich rural life through the education of children. They hoped that by instilling children with a love of agriculture, they would bring this understanding back to the community. In 1952, the names of these groups was changed to 4-H. Did you know that Kingston's first fall fair was held in 1830, making it the second oldest in Ontario? Since the 1830s, Kingston's fall fair has been held annually every September. Have you ever been to a fall fair?